Now, our strategy is very straightforward. We buy when it's above the SMA 20 and we sell below it. So, the SMA 20 is basically the star of the show. We need to invite it to the party. We need to tell the computer that we want the SMA to come to this wedding. In coding, we must know who you are before you enter. So type the following, double SMA is equal to IMA. Stop there. What I just wrote here right now is called a function. And in coding, before you can write anything, you need to tell the computer, what is it that I am writing? Double and string are called data types. Double is different from string because string records certain things like letters and quotation marks, but double stores more data and it also allows calculations and functions and integers. Data types like string and double are the computer's way of understanding what is being put into it. Think of it like a garbage can. The garbage can is just a plastic bucket. It needs to know what's being put into it. So if you're putting in metal, you need to tell it that I'm putting in metal now, or I'm putting in paper, or I'm putting in plastic. At the end of the day, the computer, just like the garbage can, does not have senses. So data types like double and string are the computer's way of sensing what you are putting into it. And going forward, every single time you invite any indicator, we will be using double first. SMA20 is what I'm calling this function. I could have wrote anything here like the sky is blue or the grass is orange. I could have wrote anything. What matters is what comes after the equal sign. And SMA20 is going to be defining the simple moving average 20 period in a way that the computer can understand. And the way that it does that is through functions. IMA is that function. IMA just basically stands for indicator moving average. As you can see, it is also lit up in a color. If you wanted to use the RSI, you would have written IRSI. It's there. It's already recorded in there because this is MQL4. It knows that we are here to code for trading robots and nothing else. If you wanted to put in the MACD, you would have written IMACD. And similarly, all the indicators on your terminal have been pre-recorded into it. So it knows what's coming next. And to finish this, you need to put everything in closed brackets after the IMA. Now, if you ever get lost on what you need to put into the brackets, everything that you're going to be putting into this bracket is basically everything that you will see on your indicator. So go to your indicator right now and press on its settings. You will see that it records the period, the type of indicator, where it's to be applied to, the close price, the high, the low, and the type of shift. We are going to be putting all that information into this code for the computer to also understand. We can't just say, hey computer, give me the SMA 20. The computer will return back with a question, how do you want it? You know, which time frame do you want me to put the SMA 20? On which symbol do you want me to put the SMA 20? Which type of moving average do you even want? Exponential, weighted, smooth, and where should I apply the price? What's the shift? All those questions, we need to answer them in this statement, in this function. You need to tell the robot on which symbol it needs to activate this function on. So if I wanted the Euro USD, I would write that over here. If I wanted the NZD USD, I would write that over here. Writing underscore symbol is you basically telling the computer that the symbol doesn't matter. As long as it's a symbol, paste it and let's work. You can also write this as symbol and close brackets, or you can just write null. It doesn't matter. All of them operate the same thing. Cool. Next thing is that the computer will tell you that you need to put a comma. Put that comma over there and then we move on. 
after you put the comma it will highlight what next you need to put in to finish this function and if this function is not finished then you cannot export you cannot finish your robot it means that you will be given an error you need to finish each and every single thing in the correct format and syntax for the computer to understand in coding you need to give clear instructions we can never expect the computer to do something that we didn't tell it to do Now the next thing that you need to do is put in the time frame that you need. Now we all know what a time frame is and you can easily write H4 here, day one, H1, M30 if you want to be specific. But if you want the freedom of changing the time frame when you're already at the terminal and actually have already pasted your fully done robot, then you can just write underscore period. Similar to the symbol, we're not specific to whatever symbol that we need next thing you just write a comma and now the computer will want you to tell it what period is it you know is it a 50 ma is it a 20 is it a 10 and as for us you know it's a 20. put in another comma cool now the next thing that we need to put in is do you want a shift or not if you know indicators you know what the shift does it changes the indicator to your specific needs in this case we want a shift of zero you can play around with this in the future but then for now just write zero next up is the type of moving average we want the simple moving average so this is how you write that Here's another thing to note, in coding, you cannot put a space in between it. It's like your Instagram account. Choosing your username, you can't put in a space. You need to put in an underscore. This is the computer language. This is how it understands. Type mode underscore SMA. If you wanted the exponential moving average, you would put in an E there for EMA. MQL4 already comes with built-in library for the computer to understand this, so don't worry too much about it. And just like your indicator tab on the MT4, we need to tell the computer on which applied price it needs to activate this MA on. Is it the close price? Is it the high, the low? You know the OHLC, right? In my years of experience, it's always best to go with the close price. You can also always shift this around. If you wanted the high price, you would type high here, the low price, you would have type low. And then finally, the internal shift is what candle do you want all of this to be applied to? Zero represents the current candle that hasn't closed yet. So if you're working on the H4, that current candle that is running, that closes at like 4 o'clock or 8 o'clock or whatever on the o'clock, that refers to candle zero. It's called the current candle and zero represents that. If you want the computer to apply this MA on the previous candle, then you would write one. We cannot go forward. Remember, we are not time travelers. We can only go backwards in this case because we do not know what price is going to do going forward. So for us, we can only go backwards. Two represents two candles before the current open one. 3 represents 3 candles, so you can also play around with this. All of this is fluid for you to just experiment and find the right settings for your strategy. Finally, we are done. And to finish it off, we are going to be closing the bracket and then putting the semicolon. The semicolon, just like before, tells the computer that we are done with this. And if you are to ever forget one semicolon, you will get a harsh error. You won't be able to export. So make sure that you always remember your close brackets, your commas, and your semicolons. These are lethal and they are very important for you to get a fully working robot. I want to press this further. If you forget one little bracket, one teensy weensy little comma or one semicolon a semicolon bra imagine it can mess up your whole career so everything even the smallest detail is important syntax is everything to the computer and if you ever get lost and don't know what something is or you forgot Especially since in the future, people will be giving you their nonsense robots to fix that 2000 errors and you want to know what this function does or you want to remember what this keyword does again. Just press F1 
the computer will tell you. The problem with F1 is that Metacote has a terrible syndrome. They write in English, but they speak Dinglish, difficult English. Just Google it if the F1 explanation is not clear. Or come ask your boy. Now that we have told the computer who we are, the fact that we want the SMA20 to be invited to the party, we must also tell the computer why we want the SMA invited to this party. What is it that she's going to do here? This is where we are going to set conditions. Say to your neighbor, conditions. For example, if Timmy comes to this party wearing red, he must sit over there. If he comes wearing blue, he must sit over there. That's what conditions basically means. You can't just come to the party and just look pretty. You gotta have something to do. So now that we have invited the SMA20, we must tell it what it came to do. We now enter the if function. 